hello everyone so in this class we will see how python assigns memories to its variables so like everything variables are also objects in python what is an object object is itself a variable of type class so python variables are not storage containers rather python variables are like memory references they refer to the memory addresses where the value is stored what does it mean when you create a variable a is equal to 1000 what python does internally like other languages it will not create a block of memory with value 1000 and assign its a name a it will not do this then what it will do in the memory python will create a block with the value 1000 and will create an object a a will have the address of the block of 1000 that means now a is referring to the value 1000 when you do b is equal to 1000 then what python will do python will again create an object b and then it will create a memory location where it will store value 1000 and then it will give the address of that block to b now b is referring to location 88 so whenever you print a the python control goes to the address which is stored in a and it will print the value whatever is there and when you will do you will do print id of a then it will print the address which is stored in a in our case it is 99 when you do id of b then it will print the address which is stored in b So what will happen if I do A is equal to B that means assign whatever is there in B to A so in this case B is having address 88 so 88 will assign to A You can see now a is having 88 so in this case now 88 a will be pointing to location 88 that is where the b is pointing so now this link will remove and this variable location will also be removed so now this block is having two references one is a second is b in this case if i see id of a then it will print 88 and if i see id of b then also it will print 88 let us see it practically you can see i am having one command prompt of python I am giving a is equal to 1000 and b is equal to 1000 then I will run this code now let us check id of a and id of b as you can see both the ids are different you can see this both the IDs are different see what happens if I do A is equal to B let us print A and print B both is having thousand value and let us check ID of A 
एंड आईडी ऑफ बी सो यू कैन सी बोथ द आईडी ऑफ ए एंड बी आर सेम दैट मींस दे आर रेफरिंग टू द सेम लोकेशन वेयर थाउजेंड इज स्टोर्ड so i hope this is clear to you that means this will be removed and both will be referring to same location now let us see some more thing what will happen if i give a is equal to 2000 now what will happen python will create a memory location where 1000 will store and it will assign the memory location 77 to a now a's new pointing location will be 77 now again location 88 is having only one reference and 77 is having again one reference that is a and b so in both the case if i print id of a it will print 77 and if i print id of b it will print 88 again if i change value of a is equal to 3000 it will again create another block 3000 that will have some address say it is 66 and it will assign that 66 to a and it starts pointing to 66 location it and it will destroy the 77 address so as you can see this variable a is changing its location or address according to the value whatever we will provide so there are variables that changes its location when we assign something new to it those variables are called immutable variables or immutable data type variables so according to the need there are two different types of data types one is mutable another is immutable so immutable types if the variable is referring to immutable type then any changes to its value will also change the memory address it is referring to like integer we have just seen one example of it there are other immutable data types also that is float decimal boolean string tuple and range there are some mutable data types also what is mutable data type if the variable is referring to mutable type then any changes to its value will not change the memory address of the variable let us see one example we will see example list again we will go to our memory location let us clear this now consider one list l which is having 1 2 and 3 so in case of list what python will do python will create an object l which will refer to an array of references this is position 0 1 and 2 so say the address of this is 29 so 29 will be stored to this location so it is referring to this table reference table where each and every element is referring to 1 2 and 3 again this will have some address so address will be there in this location so it is referring to x it is referring to y it is referring to z so in this case if i change the value at position 0 to 
so our list will become if i print the list then it will become 99 2 and 3 what happens inside the memory it will create a memory location where 99 will store and it will have some address that address will be stored in zero position at zero position and then it will start pointing to that location and the previous location will be removed what happens in this case if you have seen this that the address which was stored in L has not changed at this position ID of L was 29 and after changing it at this position also ID of L is 29 so you can see the, the ID or address location which was stored in L has not changed so all the data types where the address is stored in the object does not change when we change the value stored in it are called mutable data types this is list is an example of mutable data type and integer is an example of immutable data type let us see practical of list that is mutable types consider a list l which is having 1 2 and 3 if i print this list then it is printing 1 2 and 3 and if i see the id of l it will have some id if i change the position 0 value to 99 and if i print the value of L it will have 99 2 and 3 and if I check the ID of L as you can see it is similar as above that means the location which was stored in L has not changed so this is called a mutable type of object that means mutable means we can change the object value without changing the location stored in it. Immutable type is where the changes in the value will also change the memory location stored in it. So these are two different types of data types. Now see one interesting factor if I have a is equal to 10 let us uh, consider 1000 and b is equal to 1000 and if I print id of a and id of b you can see both are different Why? Because 1000 which is stored in A will be somewhere in the memory and the 1000 which is stored in B will also be somewhere in the memory. But both are at different locations. Fine. Now see this interesting thing. If I give 200 to A and then I give 200 to B and if I print ID of A and then ID of B then you can see both are having same location why it is happening this is very interesting thing in Python for memory optimization 
Python keeps integers from minus 5 to 256 as an array in memory. And if you are using any object that is referring to any of these integer types numbers, we'll use these stored numbers. What does it mean? Python stores these values starting from minus 5 up to 256 as an array of integer numbers. Fine. And if I am referring any of these numbers, it will use these already stored numbers. Why? Because Python consider that these numbers are generally used in every calculation. So it is using numbers from minus 5 to 256 in its memory location. And if you do A is equal to 200, then A will refer to 200. And if I do B is equal to 200, then B will also refer to the same address. That is why when I am doing ID of A and ID of B, it is giving me same address. See this example again. If I am giving A is equal to 256 and B is equal to 256 and then I am printing ID of A, comma ID of B then it is giving me the same address. But if I give A is equal to 257 and B is equal to 257 and if I check ID of A comma ID of B You can see both is showing different address. So all the numbers ranging from minus 5 to 256 will refer to the already stored numbers which Python has already given in the memory. But if you are referring to the number which is beyond this range, it will store another copy of it as we have seen in the case of 1000. So this was the interesting fact which Python uses to optimize its memory. Another thing, if I give A is equal to hello and B is equal to hello and if I print ID of A and B, you can see both the IDs are same. So in case of a string also, what Python does, if a string is within the length of it, it considers some length and if the string is between this that length, then it will point to the same memory until we change it. So in this way, it optimizes memory for a string also. Let us see if I make a is equal to hello123 and then b is equal to hello 1 2 3 then I print a and b you can see both are at different positions so it considers some length and if uh, the value of a string is same for that length like hello then it will point to the same location but if in, it increases the uh, predefined length which is uh, which is Python considered to for memory optimization that it will take different positions or different memory locations. So this was the interesting fact about Python memory optimization. And we will meet in next video and we will learn how to pass mutable and immutable data type objects in functions. Thank you.